Okay, this is experiment B. Experiment B is going to be baking soda, which all of you have probably dealt with at some point, and distilled water again. Okay, so we're going to begin by adding in some distilled water to this test tube. Okay. And now I'm going to add a small scoop of baking soda. Okay. And we're going to observe what sort of things we can see. I'm going to take a little stirring rod and kind of mix this around and you see it gets kind of white and cloudy and then we just kind of let it settle for a while. Now, what sort of changes do I recognize? Well, the baking soda is wet, it's kind of, you know, more dense, it's a little bit squishy and slimy, it's starting to settle back out in terms of sinking to the bottom. Uh, I don't really see any bubbles, uh, doesn't smell any different than before, I feel it. And it's about room temperature. It doesn't seem like there's any major energy changes here. Um, as we look at our list up behind me, okay, we take a look at what that is. The, the precipitate comes to mind because there is some solid gooey stuff down at the bottom, but that solid gooey stuff was there at the beginning and there at the end. It's not something new that was there. It was just the, the baking soda settling out. So we have to determine whether this is a chemical change or physical change. And you might ask yourself, what kind of changes do I even see? Well, there are different properties here. It's wet now, its density is different, but it's not necessarily uh, a major thing that you could recognize jump out at you. 